Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderland. We are finally back inside of the dank forest. Or, you know, the weep wild dankness, as they call it now. We had some quests to come here relatively early on throughout our campaign, but we were a few levels underneath the enemies here. So we went out, did every side quest we could find, and... Um, Got about 10 levels since then, maybe nine levels since then, but it is finally time to continue our quest. It is time to find a bard to bless our ship so we can go on an epic voyage somewhere off in the distance. Now, there are plenty of side quests in this area, too, that I imagine we'll be picking up. And of course, once we're done with this level, we are going to be showing off where every single one of the collectibles are. But for now, hello. Welcome to the video. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy your stay. I was going to grab the side quests, but it kind of just seems like they're the bounty board missions, which I can pick up back in town, too. I kind of just wish the exclamation point wouldn't be poking through the ground all the time. But we'll head straight to the bard for now. We'll, we'll do the side quests after the main quest here. One thing I should probably mention, too, is we have respect my character yet again. Talents remain mostly the same, although I'm putting way more value in this spell sniper spell critical hit chance at 72 percent i redistributed our stats around we have 32 in intelligence for max cooldown reduction and then i'm pumping everything else we have into crit chance so our spell crit chance is gonna be really really high once we get a few more levels under our belt However, at the bottom of the spell shot tree, I'm really looking forward to this. Gun critical hits have a chance to instantly reset all of your spell cooldowns. So if I can get my critical hit chance high across the board, we could theoretically be casting spells all the time. Speaking of spells, we have some new ones. Uh, this is my electricity one. I believe we've shown this off, especially in, in our uh, gathering videos. But the real showstopper, oh yeah, is the new fireball. That one has, or the new meteor rather, that one has a really long cooldown. We can't use it all the time, but when we do, it will absolutely melt anything in its path. Half bard, half barbarian. A thousand percent explosion. Ah, it's Mr. Torg. It's yeah! One of my favorite characters. I love Torg. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to take a photo for the tribunal? You look great, Mr. Torg. Thank you for the photo. Oh, they just want me to talk to him. That's that's pretty easy. What do you got going on here, though? I gotta get across the ocean for a quest. But all the working ships came down with a bad case of on fire. Can you help me out? I love two things in this world. <laughs> Rats, and huge explosions. And respecting all living beings, irrespective of my own underlying cultural biases. Three things. I can't do anything right since my magic loot stopped working. What happened? What's wrong with the loot? I don't know. It's made of wood from the forest. Which should make it magic is Oh, and all the wood turned into mushrooms. Very much father. Have you tried playing it? You know, instead of hitting stuff with it. <laughs> what a rad idea! No wonder you're the hero! Oh, there we go. This is a good photo op. I'm gonna get it. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I just love photo mode so much. Great plan! are more evil than I thought. They're draining the forest soul energy. Oh, no. Sending it back to me, which means I can do things like this. <clears throat> Suddenly, a barrage of skeletons attack the unsuspecting idiots in the forest. I think we can find a way to deal with this. You gotta destroy it with your bad weapon. Destroy the crystal? It's not taking damage. Shocklands. Oh, is it? Is it? Do I have to hit it? I don't think this is a crystal. 
Christmas, no, Mr. Torg! All right, back up. You're getting too close to me. Bro, we are laying down some destruction over in this area. Okay, so it turns out we just had to kill the guards. This is the opposite of respecting nature. Compost these phony Uh, there's another one over here. I'm on it. Call down the media. Bro, that hits so hard. Got it, Mr. Zorg. That thing was inside the crystal that whole time, like an evil cocoon. Wreckage entire sea. Another one over here. They keep popping up. This time we do have a badass up top, but we're hitting them so hard with those critical hits. That meteor coming down literally took his entire health bar away. We are really coming into our own, man. We're getting very, it's another mimic. We're getting very, very strong. Hey, why don't you stay? Oh, I was gonna blow you up with the barrel. This guy has a pretty big shield protecting him. I don't have anything electric other than my grenade to rip through it. Hey, wait a minute, what did that damage? Mr. Torg, there's no one left to kill. Shit. All right. Good as new. Oh, I had to pay twelve hundred dollars for that. Let us never speak of that again. How you doing, Torg? Destroy the corruption, Thor. Oh, the main one. It started vibrating when you destroyed the crystal. The magic's coming back. I can feel it. Let's keep going. I'm in. Let's go, dude. There's another thorn up ahead. Let's get up. More crystals so like this? Is using the crystal thorns to leech the magic out of the forest? See? Now that's what I'm talking about. Why don't we get into the magic stealing business? Mmm, uh, good question. Because it's evil? Not if I use it to give orphans a chance to change a pot. <laughs> you look real dumb right now. It's all about perspective. Then you wish you turned away. Mr. Torg's been running for a long time. We've coming up on a big fortress here with another crystal in the main yard. The busted ass ruins. Stay back! All right, it's the same thing. I take down crystals. Ready to tear the face of your lips. Let's do it! Bro, the spell effects here are looking so good. And the enemies grouped up quite a lot. <laughs> Didn't quite kill the guys in front, but it still took down quite a few. One down. How did this purple get up on this ledge? That seems ridiculous. I see him over there. I'm sitting in the meteor. That was a pretty good meteor. Yeah, that was a pretty good meteor. Easy peasy. One more up top. Let me not cut out any combat this time. Let me show you exactly how strong we are right now because we have come such a long way. There is an Archmage badass up here. We're gonna call in the meteor on him and watch him get annihilated. Oh, come on. Again? Again, this is how I die again from an explosion and there's, there, ter, Torque, get me up. Oh yes, thank you. I knew you would be a good ally. I knew this was a good idea. Bro, he stopped playing music just to get, we killed all of the undead with that single cast. That's actually insane. The, the single meteor was, that was it. And Torque's already running off to another location. Sorry, I'm just back here in awe. On my way, bud. They're summoning skeletons in our path, trying to stop us from moving onward. But they are literally no match for us. And Torg is moving faster than me. <laughs> this is my kind of escort quest. I don't have to wait on him at all. Wait a minute, is this a dungeon? Hold on, there's a badass. We got him. It's my one and only. His explosion rift, he can only do once a day. Oh, 
Okay, we just have to protect him. Forces of evil smell the stench of heroism on the wind and rise to stop it down. You can bring as many enemies as you want here. I have enough AOE to last a lifetime. A single cast from our electricity spell is enough to take down one of these mushrooms. 436 damage. I wonder how much HP they actually have. Explosive Barrel gonna take down that skeleton. Come on, you gotta be able to do better than this. Mage in the back will clear out that whole corner with a gigantic meteor called down from above. Bro, these zombie gunners literally can't even get a shot in. This guy's wandering off. He showed up for a second and then peace. My, my shotgun doesn't shoot that far. Uh, Archer of Corruption in the middle. Let's get that armor down. And all of those crits from the meteor finish him off. How we feeling, Dorg? love explosions! Onward to glory! Onward to glory. You heard the man. It feels like I'm essentially hugging a jellyfish. Come on. We gotta go into the heart of the forest. You approach the heart of the forest. Even the heart of the forest is corrupted. What could be so evil? As if an answer, a butt shivering cry is heard through the mist. Shivered my butt? Whoa. Behold the horrid visage of the Banshee. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty gnarly, Tina. Whoa, the Banshee. This early? Hold on. She's going for a total. Do you have a moment to take a picture for Tiny Tina's Tribune? Oh, beautiful. That looks so good with the glow of the particles inside her character model. That looks so good. Thank you for the photo. All right, we need to get our stacks up as high as we can get them. We're at six right now. We can go up to eight. One more reload, and we are there. Now, just wait for the teleport and come here. Hey, that's pretty good damage. Not enough to ride out kill the boss. Do I have to jump over these? What are all these project? Uh, help! Oh, I have to jump or crouch under these. I see. Okay, well, I'm understanding the obstacle course a little bit more. Every time we reload or cast a spell, we are going to be getting our ward back. That is the only way we stay alive. The Banshee rushed us, but the Meteor immediately killed an ad to get us back in the fight. I'm very thankful for that. The ads are actually Banshee spirits rotating around their big skulls. That's super intimidating. Let's call down another meteor as the Banshee seems to have planted her feet on the other side. Less than a quarter of her health remaining, but the projectiles start flying. Those look like homing icicles. She teleports to the far side of the arena, back on her perch. We have another meteor in just a moment. Here it is. Always learn a new way. Level 18. Oh, nice. The are silenced. Very good. Very good. I've seen the Banshee mop the floor with high level characters. Between you and me, we had a thing. But then she left me for the maelstrom of endless insanity, which, you know, I mean, good for her. Guy's a hunk. Yeah, I mean, who could blame her? The heart of the forest is already corrupted. What are we going to do? You evil. You took away my magic and my best friend. I'll never rip again. <laughs> Wait, there's there's a spike in front of it. Are we gonna kill the spike? <laughs> Manly weeping is the subtitle. Someone out there, let me out! The muffled voice seems to be coming from a caged crystal hanging before the corrupted. Heart. I think I know who that is. Shoot me free! Oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> we gotta get a photo. We gotta get a photo. Hold on. Can we get one with the wings expanded a little bit? My dude, they don't expand much, do they? Oh my God, finding the perfect frame for this is really hard. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, thank you. You look beautiful, Brock. Hell yeah. Fairy Punch Father, you're alive! The Fairy Punch Father. <laughs> you truly are a 
barbarian. <laughs> uh, and you, I know you. Do you? You won't be neither not. Oh, <laughs> you know me? Well, we haven't really met, but I'm the fairy punch father. As long as magic's been around, I've been here to protect it. Mostly by punching. I've seen enough heroes in my time to know when I've been saved by one. Can you fix his magic loot? He needs to bless our ship. <laughs> Can I? Ha! I'm the one he wanted from in the first place. Watch this. I'm watching. Zippy, zippy, put him my goo. Yeah, that's a magic spell if I've ever heard one. The heart of the forest. Yeah. Is my loot in full power now? Damn straight. Give it a plug. Let's see it. Loot. Wow. Oh. And there he goes. I ripped so hard I teleported away. Thanks, Fairy Punch Father. Hero, meet me by the docks. Will do. I'm just going to get a few more photos over here. Oh, Don't mind me. Marian awaits you back at the city docks. <laughs> Don't move, Punch Father. For real, dude. Look at that photo. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll see you later, Brock. Brick? Brock? What was his name? I should know that. I played him in the first game. He was so funny. He was so tanky. Okay. Let's get this stupid blessing on the ship. It's not stupid. It's just how the rules work. Well, then the rules are stupid. I just want to get the quest moving. Uh-oh. Party's starting to split. Looks like your story's floating <laughs> dead in the harbor, Fade Maker. Now, this should be a pretty interesting addition to our kit. Whenever the Fade Maker casts a spell, his guns deal bonus damage of that spell's element for a duration. This effect stacks once for each spell equipped. So we have eight seconds, and we're going to get 2% bonus damage, which isn't much. But. If I cast both of my skills, we'll be able to add f electricity and fire onto our shots for eight seconds for free, doing nothing. So we're basically, assuming that we cast every eight seconds, gonna be dealing additional bonus damage all the time. Now, without any further ado, let's get this ship blessed. Looking good as f here. My loot started to f up with magic. Now point me at your noble vessel. Uh, go ahead. Vessel. Right there. That one right there. That one right there. You're going out with that piece of steak. You're braver than I thought. Why is everyone besmirching the good name of the good ship Balzania? I don't know. Because it's a piece of crap. No. no. Your precious rules are what's a piece of crap. I see the f issue. Your party is divided. We can't cast a blessing with these vibes. We need a jam session. Lay down a beat. Let's do it. Vibe check. Transpose <laughs> feelings into beautiful music. Uh, Frecht, Valentine likes playing bunkers and badasses because he gets to feel like a hero and he's willing to ignore the rules in order to have fun. Ugh, fine. Valentine. I'm not trying to kill your fun. I love bunkers and badasses because of the rules. Think about it. In the real world, things just happen for no reason. Here, I know how things work. It's relaxing. Yeah! Yeah! Now the harmonies! And some magicizer! More instruments? I'm in. Fantastic! <laughs> hey! Quick photo for the tribunal! Beautiful. Valentine, Fred uses the rules to have fun, which means sometimes you gotta take them seriously. Okay? I guess I'm using it as an escape too. Maybe out there, I'm just going from job to job, worrying about how much fuel our spaceship has and blah, blah, blah. In here, I have a purpose. Get a new ship, a noble quest, and a chance to be a hero. Instead of just, you know, our I'm glad we're talking what this out. This kumbaya bullcrap. It's the power of the bard. Just needs one more thing. We need some dingling. Dingling on that thingling. Dingling on that thingling. What? 
cowbell? <laughs> More cowbell! An even bigger cowbell. Photo! <laughs> Look at him, he's really into it right now. He's really into it right now. I like the shot here with the music whizzing by too. This looks so good, man. To try a little harder to pay attention to the rules. Good. Thank you. And I swear, I want to help you complete that quest and keep the good ship Rosanya safe from harm. Damn straight. I this party of heroes undivided. You hear that, Torg? I just noticed he has a stump for armor. This is the blessing. It's a blasting. I cast magic missile. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Wait, wait. This is your magic missile? Oh, we need to take a picture of this. Hold on. This is the magic missile? <laughs> Jeez! But what about the way? Shoot! I care about nature! Whoa. So beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you in uh, uh, there's a fucking tsunami coming this way. Do you have a moment to take a photo for the tribunal? Look at him, bro. He's ready. There's even water on the lens. Torg, I, I think we may have overdone it a little bit. I think this may have gone a little bit too far. Low up. The ocean is our current quest. Torg, run! Run! Oh, he's okay. The nefarious ocean has been defeated. Our well thought out character rich story continues! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. On one hand, I've got a lot of walking to do. On the other, completely dodged scurvy. Isn't that win? Alas. The good ship Balzania has <laughs> sailed her last. Is there a ship Rest right in there? Pieces, my sweet maiden. Rest in pieces. Well, we blew up so the ocean. If the entire ocean's gone, can we just walk to the Dragon Lord's Pyramid? Oh, yeah, totes my goats. But though there is no water, many uh, slightly damp dangers remain. Well. That was something, Torg. That was really something. I can't believe more of the city isn't damaged by this. It's kind of like the water just passed by and then everything's fine after that. Well, we got our work cut out for us now. So much for taking the ship and getting the blessing. We're just gonna be walking Holy forward. Fresh. Before we do that, we do have side quests in the Dank Forest to take a look at. And the, the removal of the water means we can reach a few more collectibles that we weren't able to reach previously. So expect our collection guides to be coming out for a couple zones that we skipped very soon. Until then, thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you again next time.